Hey hi this is Varsha Sahu and welcome to the QA Belt in my automation channel so today in this session i'm going to explain about switch to method so basically whenever we talk about any specific method in selenium web driver we should have to understand about few questions like uh, uh, what this method does basically and uh, the next one in which scenario we have to use this method and uh, the third one is what is the written type of this method and the fourth one is why switch to method required okay so uh, whenever we start any uh, method uh, using in our automation script we should know about these basic four questions okay so i'm going to explain you all these four questions in this current video uh, one by one so you will get a proper understanding and then you can also use this switch to method in your automation script so let's start here and uh, the first thing is what this method does so basically this is a predefined method in selenium automation and uh, uh, which is basically used to switch the current window focus to another specific window so let me write few words here so you will understand like what is this uh, this method does basically so this is a predefined method predefined method in selenium web driver and which is used to switching which is used to switching the current focus from current window or active window to another window another specific window okay yeah so let's see like sometimes whenever you load any website uh, and uh, then uh, immediately some other thing some other window will be appeared on the top of the current website current window like some alerts will be uh, coming some frames will be coming some new window will be uh, redirected so that time you have to perform you uh, perform any actions on this particular new window in this situation we you have to change our current focus from new window uh, from current window to new window okay so let's understand one thing like uh, sometimes whenever you load any particular website and uh, after few seconds uh, uh, some other window some other window will be uh, opened on the top of the current window like some alerts is open some frames is open some new windows uh, is redirected so in this situation if you have to perform any actions on new window uh, you you have to perform any actions on this alert on this frames on this new window so in this situation you have to change your focus from current window to new window yeah so next one is in which scenario do we need to use this method so as i clearly told uh, uh, like uh, we have to switch the control from one window to another window using this switch to method right and uh, let's understand in which particular scenario we have to use this method so let me just give you one scenario here uh, like uh, somewhere you uh, open any website and uh, some pop-ups some alerts will be there like uh, uh, it will asking you to accept uh, the term and conditions and uh, you uh, this is a warning uh, before accessing this website you have to accept these warnings so right uh, uh, you have to uh, accept this warning you have to accept this term and conditions and then only you will be able to uh, perform any actions on this particular website so uh, whenever you are using your uh, automation script then you have to change your focus so let me just write one thing switching to alert yeah if uh, in your automation script any alert is open then you have to first switch to that particular alert then only you have to perform any actions on this alert like you have to accept this thing or you have to dismiss this thing you have to cancel this uh, in this uh, alert uh, there will be some uh, buttons on the alert okay so after performing some actions on alert once once this alert will be gone then uh, then only you will be able to perform the actions on your uh, particular website okay so in this scenario you have to use this switch to method uh, to switching from current website to this alert and also uh, coming back from the alert to the current website so this is the one scenario so second scenario is switching to iframe 
ओके सो आई होप यू नो लाइक वॉट इज द आई फ्रेम्स इन एच टी एम एल कोड इफ यू नॉट अपेयर अबाउट द आई फ्रेम सो आई विल प्रिपेयर अवन वीडियो फॉर इट एंड आई विल शेयर दैट लिंक सोन इन दिस चैनल सो वेयर यू विल अंडरस्टैंड लाइक वॉट इज द आई फ्रेम्स इन एच टी एम एल कोड सो टू हैंडल दिस आई फ्रेम इन सोलेनियम ऑटोमेशन बेसिकली यू हैव टू यूज द स्विच टू मैथड लाइक वेन एवर यू लोड एनी लाइक uh any a uh, ticket booking website or any like irctc website any flight booking website where you are seeing some iframes so basically iframes is a, a small window a small particular window uh, to uh, getting some information about the particular website so using this iframes uh, we have to be, we can give some message or we can gather some knowledge yeah so to handle this kind of iframes you have to use this switch switch to method and uh, uh, whenever you load any website some iframes will be there then you have to switch uh, to that iframe to perform your actions and then you have to close this iframe then only you, then only you will be able to back on your particular website and you will be able to perform the actions so in this scenario you have to use this switch to method and the last scenario is uh, like uh, third one is switching to switching to window like uh, parent window to child window parent window to child window and child window to parent windows okay to parent window okay so somewhere you saw some hyperlinks and whenever you have to click any hyperlink it will redirect it to you on any new new website but in automation when you are performing this thing when you are performing in uh, some actions on the hyperlink then you have to basically change your control from parent window to child window whatever window is opened in your automation script that is the parent window and whenever you perform any actions and by performing this actions if new window is open that window is called child window okay so you have to perform some actions on this child window then you have to change your control from parent window to child window by using this switch method and after performing after completing your actions on the child window then you have to come back on your parent window so in this situation also you will be able to use this method switch to method okay so using this switch to method you can change your control from parent to child window and child to parent window okay so uh, i hope you understand like in which type of scenario you have to use this method yeah yeah so next one is what this method returns so basically whenever you are going to use any method we should know like what this method returns then only we will able to write our script in that way okay so this switch to method is written at target locator let me write few words here so you will understand return a target locator okay so whenever you are uh, switching from one uh, window to another window you have to pass a uh, another windows uh, locator another windows path so it will understand like uh, yes i have to switch from this window to this window so it will understand like i have to switch from this windows path to that window let me show you like what are the uh, what are the options it is giving so you will understand like yeah this way we have to uh, use this switch method so let me open my uh, code here yeah so don't worry about it i will show you in my another videos from scratch where you have to use this switch to method but for now uh, i'm yeah, i'm just trying to giving the answer of third question like what this returning so we have to pass the locators here and uh, where exactly we have to pass this locators right so whenever we are uh, switching on the any alert so we have to use this switch to dot alert and uh, we have to pass the locator we have to pass the path of this uh, alert what we are seeing on this particular website okay and if you want to switch on this uh, any frame so we have to pass the locator we have to pass the path of this particular frame as you are seeing in this frames it is asking in uh, in the parameter like int index string name or id in the html code where uh, this frame is uh, stored uh, it has some path it has some name it has some id some indexes so using this we able to write the path of this particular index and uh, 
if we want to switch on any particular window then we have to use this switch to dot window and also we have to pass uh, the session id of this particular window then it will be understand like yeah i have to uh, use on this uh, uh, i have to go on this particular path so using this type of uh, uh, methods you will uh, locate your uh, mm, you will locate your uh, control from uh, one window to another window and in this way i am saying like yeah this is the return uh, target locator i hope you understand what is the meaning of return or target locator and the next one is uh, why switch to method is required okay so uh, why this method is required basically uh, actually in selenium if uh, our automation script open any alert high frames or website on top of the current window and uh, if we are not switching uh, on this particular new windows then we can't perform or we can't close this particular window uh, we will block basically and we can't perform any actions uh, because if we want to close or if we want to click on any cancel button of any alert uh by switching on this particular alert then we are not able to perform right so uh let's understand one scenario like uh, uh if you gone through any e-commerce website and where you are seeing like some uh, login pop-up will be there right and you have to pass this credentials or either you have to close this credential any e-commerce website if you are seeing any pop-up then you have to pass any credentials there to log in and then only it will allow you to do any other, other pop actions okay and uh, if you want to close it then you have to click on this cancel button so basically you have to change your control from your current to that particular new window and if you are not switching then you are blocked here you are totally blocked so that's why you have to use this switch method yeah so i hope you understand this all four questions and uh, uh, you also understand about the switch to method like we have why we have to use this method what is the what is this method as basically and which scenarios we are using this method okay so uh, i hope you understand all these things about it and you, you will be able to use this method in your automation script so whenever you are sitting in an in, a, in the interview an interviewer will ask like what is the switch method and uh, what is what what this method does so basically one by one if you are giving answer like uh, this method uh, doing this and in this kind of scenario we are using and this has a return type and this is required so if you are covering all the four points and you are keeping your answer in simple way then interviewer will get his answer okay yeah so thanks for watching and if you like this video then please uh, like and uh, uh, share this video as much as possible and if you are new on this channel then please subscribe my channel so I, i'll come with the new video where i'm going to show you with a practical example like where we have to use the switch to method and then you will also understand uh, particular things about it okay so